This Kododori lesson is one of my favorites. It is dance party time. I can't dance, I can code. Let's dive right into some of those foundational principles of programming. This is code.org and dance party time. All right, let's keep going here. Drag the make a new cat at the center block into the workspace and connect it. Okay. Choose cat or sloth. Awesome. So I'm just going to grab this and drop it here. Now set up make a new cat center. Of course, I'm going to change it to a sloth. And then when we hit run, this block should happen. Yeah. Awesome. Go sloth. Go. It's a quick sloth. Onward. Uh, another video. Cool. Next. The win up press block lets the you run code when you press the arrow buttons. Use the cat do clap block to make it clap. Okay. So set up our cat will appear, and then upon this action, this event, we want the cat to clap. So win up press. Run. And then I'll go ahead, oh wait, yeah, when left pressed, boom. Oh, nope, when up. Bam, 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 bam. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Onward. Here we are. It's time for a dance off. Oh, boys. Program each dancer to move when you press different keys. Oh, yeah, so we have these events already. Choose your favorite move for each dancer or set it to random. Ooh. All right, let me see what they have already. Ah, okay. So right now we have the up for this. Um, let me go ahead and for our cat. Ooh, it already has it at random. Now this is down, that will up. We can leave it at that. Um, random, or maybe actually I wanna see, let's see disco. And I don't know, yeah, we'll leave that. Okay, let's take a look. So when up, click so when that event happens it should be different each time <laughs> and then for the cat it's when down what's disco oh fancy whatcha onward video let's get the dancers moving in time with music oh boys this is something i can't do myself but you know i like coding so i probably can't dance Maybe I shouldn't say that. Anyways, connect the after four measures block to the shark do this or that. Okay, so after four measures, so after four measures of the song, something's going to occur. And what do we want to occur? So after this event, we're going to have shark do this or that block from the toolbox. Your dancer should start to a new move after the fourth measure. Measures are used in music to count time. All right, all right. Go, shark, go. So four's up. Yeah. And so after this event, it this occurs. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. Now we're grooving. Add after four measures block up to your workspace. Make the dancer start a new move after six. Oh, after six. Cool. Okay, so we have the four one after six. So now we have two events. On setup, we're going to make our frog. Now after four measures, they're going to perform this move. Now after six. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. Now after four, so on five, this event should happen. Yeah, go. Go, frog, go. Oh, ooh, fancy. Onward. Use the new block to set up a group of small backup dancers around a lead dancer. Make new blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to do this at setup. So right when the program starts. So when we hit the orange run button, setup happens. Okay, so let's see. Make, wow, 10 would be a lot. Okay, 10. Oh, I love the sloths. I mean, leave that. All right, so I have 10. Now I create a bunch of backup dancers at once. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see my backup dancers. I got those. Um, do I want sloth? So <gasps> pineapples. I'll do eight. Circles fine, I guess. Yeah, diamond. And then a main dancer. Okay. So I'll make a new unicorn. Hmm. I liked this shark in the center. Let's see. Awesome. <laughs> Onward. Ooh, properties. Okay. 
So we're going to get into ooh, size, maybe speed. Awesome. So properties are parts of um, objects in programming. So we must be thinking of our sprite as the object and we can change aspects of them. So every dancer has a set of properties that controls what it looks like. Use set size under the green event block to make the dancers appear closer or farther away. Yeah, so set size. All right, and they already gave us a bunch of code. Let's see what it does. Cool. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, and now we can use this property set size and we can either do it on the event or maybe I want to set it at the beginning. Oh no, under a green event block. Okay, so after four measures, um, let's see. Why don't I, I'll just attach it here. Let's see what 50 looks like. Right now, right after four, the event triggers. Oh yeah, they zoomed in. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. I bet we're going to use that property more. All right. Dancers have a tint property that can add a, a layer of color. Try changing the tint of one of your dancers or the entire group. Color. So again, just like size tint is something we can control a property on our dancer. So set bear size. I'll do this after four measures and I want to do tint to... Oh, I need, so tint is going to be somewhat like size. It's a property of our dancer, of our sprite, of our object. So unicorn to, mm, I feel like unicorns that. Change the tint of one of your dancers or the entire group. So I'll change the tint of unicorn after four measures, but I can also put a tint block up here. So initially on setup, I might change all of my bear's tint. You can see they're already changing the property size up here, but I'll change all my bears tint, I don't know, to green. Let's see. <laughs> and you can see they're green. Now after four measures, boom, yeah, onward. This new block is a special kind of event triggered over and over, ah, repeat loop or loop. By placing the other block inside of box in your toolbox inside the repeat block, you can repeatedly change dancer's properties when done, press finish. Okay, so we can see what it's doing already. Now, every two measures set black effect, black, white, random. Ooh, so the color will be random. All do random dance move forever. Oh, so every two measures, they're going to change dance moves. And the background color. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to also do. Random, ooh, randomize all. Oh, there's so much stuff. What if I randomize their rotation? That's pretty cool. And I can even do something else, like every four measures. Or you know what? Maybe every three measures, all change horizontal position by 10. Let's check it out. So I'll have this event trigger after three measures, this one after every two, and it just will repeat it each time that it occurs. One, two, so now it's this thing. Quapow! <laughs> every three. <laughs> this is so cool. And of course, we could have even changed some of this. Onward. Video. Get your groove on. Create a dance of your own and share with friends. Ooh, I'm excited about this. So I'll speed this up and talk about mine at the end. Awesome. Let's see mine. Okay, so what I have here is my dancers. I did a row of pineapples, a row of bears. Every five measures, uh, the neon effect changes in the background. <laughs> and then when up is pressed, so I even have events like this, so I can hit up here, yeah, yeah, and change up their dance moves, or down and change all of their tents randomly. Pretty cool. So setup initializes all of this. This repeats depending on our measures, these different effects, and then these events allow us to change with input what's going on. I hope yours is really cool too. Onward. 